Okay, welcome back to the show, folks. We got James Townsend with us again. Hello. Yeah. Good to see you. Good, Good to, to see, see you, you back, it man. A pleasure. It's been a couple of weeks. Actually, I guess you were on last week. Oh, my. Um, I don't know if anybody watched last week's episode, the outtake at the end, but uh, but you weren't here for Retro Americana. You were getting ready to um, practice with Locust for the very first time to go play on KMOD the next day. Yeah. And you're actually, he's on if you're a James Townsend fan, you like Mighty Con, stuff like that, you like watching this guy do his thing, uh, go to myspace.com forward slash locust07 and uh, check out the videos on there. It's called Locust Rides Again. It's kind of a little immature docu. I don't know. Just check it out. Go check it out if you like, uh, if you like James Townsend or if you like Locust. All right. So we're kind of staying with the music thing, though. Yeah. So what do we got going on today, guy? Well, this is part one of the vinyl series. That part one. And this is a uh, movie and television soundtracks. So that's pretty exciting. I mean, I put it in a little bit of a timeline. Starting, of course, with Rodgers and Hammerstein, Oklahoma. Very be, apropos for... Wouldn't be a, a soundtrack scenario without it, you know? And doing the show in a little state called Oklahoma. I just know. I'm kind such of... a... I'm actually, gonna tear up. Actually. actually, you performed Oklahoma with your band Mighty Kind. Yeah. Uh, it was the last song on uh, a show we do uh, called uh, Cherokee County Line. You can get that one at uh, intv.me. Go to show, select Cherokee County Line, and you'll, you'll have to find it, but it's in there. A little side note, we learned that song on the centennial celebration of Oklahoma. In 2007. At Cannes Ballroom. Oh, really? Before the, the whole mass of, of Oklahoma government and politics. Oh, that's right. Annie was telling me you guys had a, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Cool. I bet that was kind of an exciting game. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Meet all the senators and all those wacky gentlemen. Because they really care about mighty music, kind yeah. and music. Yeah. yeah. It was a luncheon, so they didn't even clap. They just ate their fancy. Dish. Yeah, they don't care about you. You're a dirty hippie. I know. What else we got? Moving on to the fifties. Batman. It's actually a quite a valuable record. Is it really? Uh, believe it or not, yeah. But it's a great one. I picked it up a long time ago. It's been a good time. And this is uh, this is from the television series. The television series. Starring uh, starring Adam West and Burt Ward as Batman and Robin. Mm -hmm. Little Caesar Romero as Joker. Yeah. Burgess Meredith as the Penguin. Well, those are good times is what it was. Oh man, that one. That was. It's kind of. It's kind of funny because we had a, a Superman deal on earlier. So. Yeah. Got to stick with our superheroes. Correct. Yeah. But I'm gonna. I had this one as a kid. The Pink Panther, man. What a great, great, great tune. Well, what about what a Henry Mancini's an uh, excellent genius, uh, composer. Yeah. Shows him on the back here with the piano. So. We had my favorite of the, all the Pink Panther uh, soundtracks that he did was the Return of the Pink Panther. Yeah. Because it had more of a late '70s sound. With there was some wah wah in there, and it was uh, it was really cool. it's way better than the first one. Not that the first one's bad or anything, but check out if you ever have a chance. Check out Return of the Pink Panther as well as this mm -hmm. one. Henry Mancini, probably best known for Moon River, as far as top ten hits yeah, and whatnot. That's so. Moon River. That's yeah. a good one. Yep. For those of you James Bond fans, of course, Goldfinger, 007. That's a, he's back in like in action. So. And here's also another side note, uh, the guy who uh, wrote the James uh, Bond theme, John Barry, uh, also did uh, the score for, oh, can we show that? Ooh la la. Yeah, we can show that. Show I don't know. We might Bond. show this. Yeah, we'll show it. We'll show it. Also did the theme song for The Black Hole and a number of other movies. A uh, very, very uh, touted composer as far as uh, success goes. Go ahead. Yeah. What else we got? Strolling into the 60s and stuff. Back a ding, 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 ding. It's the Dueling Banjos, the, the, the Deliverance soundtrack, man. Sitting on the porch with banjos mm -hmm. and, and a little bit of, you know. I can't get Ned Beatty going up the hill out of my mind. Uh, you know, I just can't. Can we move on? Yes, let's that do That movie it. freaks me out. The Graduate, of course. A 60s classic with Simon and Garfunkel. Man, you're bringing the noise. Yeah. You're well, bringing the well, noise, dude. It's a great dude. soundtrack, you know. Good stuff. Easy Rider, for all you hippie fans, that was a great, great flick. Yeah, the movie got Jack Nicholson his his start, really. I mean, he'd been in other movies before, but this is the one that brought him, yeah, there is. This is the one that brought him to the forefront and really set up the, the career that he, that he has. A little side note to this movie is that uh, Bob Dylan was on the soundtrack too towards the very end, but he wanted his name not on the record or anything, or on the movie, because uh, he didn't like the ending. And for this those is a rule. Ah, yeah, I've yeah, seen it. I, well, and when they go to New Orleans and get all tripped out, oh, I, yeah. I had to fast forward past that. It was just starting to freak me out oh, bad. Yeah, 
been there, and we've all been there, done that. I mean, as a movie, I'd probably give it a, a straight up C. Yeah. And a lot of that's B uh, that's or B minus. That might be more fair, but a lot of that based on Jack Nicholson's performance. Yeah, Just can't take your eyes off the guy. He's so cool, so yeah, charismatic. Yeah. Nick, yeah. Nick, Nick, Nick. Yep. Yeah. So moving on to more hippie stuff, there's uh, the Rainbow Bridge soundtrack. Jimi Hendrix did it, and you know, it's if you're a cool. Jimi Hendrix fan, you did Dolly Dagger for this soundtrack. Real cool. Speaking of Bob Dylan, he did Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid in yeah. 73. There it is. It's always a good one, moving into the 70s. Well, here's a big dog right here. 2001, A Space Odyssey. Man. That, that movie broke all the rules. Yeah. And invented some new ones. It's cool. Man. That was on uh, TCM the other night, and uh, every time he, the trippy part happens, I, I, <laughs> I just I lose it. And it was weird. I mean, these are effects from the late 60s and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's nothing compared to what we could do now uh, visually with the movie, but it still holds true. It, it, st it stands the test of time. It is still trippy today. Oh, man. Yeah. Moving into the disco era with the car wash. The car wash? Yeah. Looking yeah. And at the car wash. You know, and then we move into the shaft. Man, that shaft's one bad mother. Watch your mouth. I'm just talking about shaft. I know what you're talking about. Isaac Hayes, man, what a genius. Passed away recently, a few years ago. Did he? Mm -hmm. oh, that's sad to hear. He was chef on, on uh, for those of you who watch yeah. uh, what, uh, South Park. Yeah. And instead of shaft, he was chef. I know. So, uh, didn't they kill him off really bad or something? Oh, I don't know. I heard they got they were vengeful back with it. Speaking so, of know, killed whatever. off, this is uh, another Isaac Hayes movie called Tough Guys. This one's actually sealed. But nobody's ever heard of this movie. Never heard of it. Guys, but it's a sealed album. Hey, it's probably worth some money. A lot of these are. Twelve fifty. Yeah, something like that. Moving into the disco a little more, Saturday Night Fever. Yeah, okay, this one, can. staple of the 70s, kind of like P uh, Frampton Comes Alive. What, what did know? I say? Oh, so th 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 staying alive, staying alive. Ha, ha. Yeah, those guys always freak me out. I think they, uh, I think they were part of the first teeth whitening experiments. Falsetto. They always freak me out, those guys, those brothers. John Travolta, always, always an awesome. Speaking of John Travolta, moving in. Urban uh, Cowboy. Kick butt a little lesser money. known, but uh, you know, great late seventies. Speaking of late seventies, this movie, folks, uh, freaky. And the yeah. person who did this was uh, Wendy Carlos. But yeah. Wendy started off life as Walter Carlos. Walter Carlos on Switched on Bach, and that may show up another time Dude. in the vinyl series. But but this is. Some great, great classical music done with synthesizers. And yeah, it sounds pretty psychedelic. And it's got some stuff that. by Rossini, the Thieving Magpie, and stuff like that. Uh, some straight up Beethoven, and some Beethoven as performed by Wendy slash Walter Carlos. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the first movies to really bring uh, synthesizers and stuff like that because it was kind of a new technology then. It was kind of bringing it to the forefront as far.